All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Could you explain to me why you made this particular breakfast? I don't understand. You don't... I mean this, okay? This particular breakfast. Every single thing on this table. How did you manage to know that it's Fred's favorite breakfast, huh? Easy on her, okay? Was I talking to you, Fred? Was I? You're sounding a bit off. Would you let her answer the goddamn question? Okay, that's, that's okay. Hmm. All right? I didn't make breakfast for Fred. I made breakfast for everybody. Hmm. Secondly, I didn't know it's his favorite breakfast because it's Damien's favorite breakfast. Yes, yes, she's right. My baby's right there. It's just a um, coincidence, right? Okay. This thing you have going on with Alora. I see the way you look at her, the way she flirts around you. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of this I can take anymore. You brought us here to heal, okay? To get rid of the freaking bad energy. You heard the therapist. Well, nothing is working. So what? Well, that's because you refuse to to abstain from your abusive and chain self. They call ah! ah! Listen to me. <laughs> Fuck you and that therapist. You hear me? Ah! 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 Alora. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Oh, my goodness! Damien! I promise you, I didn't mean to give you my name. I didn't mean it. There's a dead body in my house and you're saying it's a freaking mistake? It was a mistake, I didn't mean to give you my name. It's freaking dead, he's not breathing! I'm so sorry, okay, it was a mistake. Alright guys, so here we go again with another toxic relationship situation. We've always felt that when we say leave toxic relationship that we're talking about men that girls should leave a relationship when it's toxic because somehow it always looks like it's men that are the corporates but men and women can be toxic serious toxicity oh serious one what i want to do today is list a bunch of things that you or your partner could be doing that qualifies you as being toxic number one is gaslighting Gaslighting is a situation where you easily pour fire on top of any small matter. Small thing that they did, you would start, you know, blow it up. You have come again. This, this, this. You can't sleep because, you know, something minor. But you have now attached every problem in the world to it. That's a toxic sign. Number two is abuse. Whether it's physical or emotional, abuse is abuse. Abuse, when it's physical, hurts their being. When it's emotional, hurts every other thing in them. With men, you tend to hear that it's physical. With women, it could be emotional. They would use their mouth to tell you something that you are, you know, you have, you never thought anybody would tell you. That's being toxic. Number three is intimidation. When you are continuously intimidating the person that you know if they do this you're gonna leave the relationship if this you leave if that you will leave <laughs> you are being toxic number four is disrespect you see in a relationship although it seems like men always ask for respect a woman also deserves to be respected once you keep tearing down that walls of respect you know giving her reasons or giving him reasons to feel disrespected that's you being toxic. Oh, another one. It's not apologizing when you are wrong. You know you are wrong. Madam, Olga, you know you are wrong. All you need to do is say you are sorry. Say you are sorry and say it like you mean it too. But please, apologize when you are wrong. When you are wrong and you choose not to apologize, you either go mute or you, you know, decide to play the victim. That's you being toxic. Number six is putting your partner down. You see, your partner is supposed to be your main person. When you put them down with words that you tell them, words that you say to them, which most likely would bring down their self-esteem, that's you being toxic. Here's another one. Number seven, hostility. If you feel like your partner is wrong with something, there is nothing wrong with just calmly telling them, 
what you feel, that you feel they are wrong with the way they did this. Don't get aggressive. Don't start shouting and, you know, try to break down the house. Don't take it further than you need to. Instead of being hostile, just go ahead and tell them what you think they did wrong. And the other part of this is this. When your partner identifies something you didn't do well or something you did that they don't like, you are not meant to argue and fight and, you know, they're telling you how they feel about something. As somebody that's in a meaningful relationship, your job is to have empathy, put yourself in their shoes and understand that this is how they feel. So if it's something you can change, change it. You know, talk to them about it. Apologize if it's something that hurt them. You get, whether you think you're wrong, the important thing is that they feel hurt. This relationship is supposed to be sweet. It's not supposed to be full of bickering and, you know, fighting and, you know, no, no. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And that's the key to happiness. Another one, and this I believe is number eight, is poor communication. If somebody did something to you, if your partner did something to you, talk to them, tell them about it. Don't assume that they can read your mind. Men don't read mind, neither do women. Don't assume they can read your mind. Talk to them about it. Don't start acting out. You see, you feel they did something, but instead of telling them, you go silent. You stop talking to them. Madam, you are now being toxic. Because here they're going to go. I see you, what is wrong? What is wrong? Are you okay? What is wrong? And you are busy, silent. Or you are busy saying that everything is fine. While all your actions do not support it. That's being toxic. Number nine is accusation. If you don't have evidence, don't accuse people. Now, I know that there's this thing about woman's intuition and whatnot. But the truth is that if you don't have evidence, there's a certain level to how you can push your accusation before it starts hurting your partner. You see, they cannot prove that what you're saying is wrong because they are not doing it. So please, excessively accusing your partner of something that you are you don't even have proof if they are doing, that's being toxic. I know there's a bunch of other things that could also qualify as being toxic. So, you know, you guys feel free to share this in the comment section if there's any other thing you can think of. But, you know, let's try to do better in these relationships because, you know, we all want to be happy. You don't want to be in a relationship that's, you know, you're always crying or feeling sad or emotionally drained or, you know, feeling like timid or, you know, scared. No, you want to be happy in your relationship because without happiness, Waiting we gain. If you like this kind of discussions, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you continue getting more content like this. This is CJ from Magnali Studios and I'm here to deliver sense.